<laughs> into the beep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, we're back. Today we have a camera person. We have Jesse. Move the camera up and down to say hello to the people, Jesse. Just go up and down. There you go. I see that's Jesse saying hello. Okay, so we're going to talk about a couple of things today. But first, I, we, uh, during our videos, we we mentioned the forum a lot. I had a new member join the forum this week that found us through the videos oh. that we did. He liked the videos. He wanted to, and he said, but he says all you guys do is say the forum. And so he went searching uh, and he found it. And I'm glad he did. But so what he what you want if you want to find us, we're on the soulfuldetroit.com forum. I urge what you was all, that again? Soulfuldetroit.com. One more time. Soulfuldetroit.com. <laughs> <laughs> I, I urge you all to come. You'll enjoy it. Join up. It's free. Some of you, everybody, you never know who's going to show up. Uh, let's see, there was another thing. Secondly, uh, oh yeah, I have a book out. Should get a little plug for the book, right? Hey. Those of you from <laughs> the videos that don't know, uh, The Road Through Motown on uh, with Bankhouse Books, Dave Randall of Bankhouse Books. Speaking of Dave Randall, I just talked to him um, yesterday, and they have the, the new Andante's book is due to drop, I think, mm -hmm. in the next week or so, and the, that's going to be an interesting book, too. You're going to find out that those girls weren't just background singers. Mm -hmm. No, they did a... So, okay, so that's... I guess that's all the business at hand. And now... Uh, and now I'm with the show. <laughs> There's a lot of tricks in recording that engineers use because sometimes, basically, producers aren't all that bright. And they don't know exactly what they want. They think they know what they want, but if they get where they think they want to be, they're going to ruin what they've got. So a good engineer... Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> <Where are you? laughs> He's in there somewhere. Uh, will, you know, protect the guy. They have certain moves. So let's assume we've got a mix going, and the, the bass is at a certain level. He's the producer. I'm the producer. the producer, yeah. They say, you know... Bring up the bass a lot more. Okay. Meanwhile, you know the speakers are probably ripping. You know, yeah. but the producer yeah. wants flames bring them up. Yeah. So yeah. just, you know, just bring it up a little more, and I'll be happy. And this was this okay. was Russ's move to. Okay. Say he wanted to go up here. Here's what I do. I just kind of. Uh, yeah, but, just, but use the body motion. Yeah. Move like back. You're really doing. But some, nothing you know, happens. But nothing happens. Nothing you know? happens. And then the producer says. How'd you like that? <laughs> that's more like it. So that's more. That's what I'm talking about. Now just listen to me for a change, will you? You know, you're right. My early days with Terra Shiro Studios, when I had basically nothing, when we finally spruced up the control room, um, Mylan took a, a big sheet of anodized steel punched some holes in it, put in all these different lights, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. plugged it in. Mm -hmm. During the session, the lights are changing colors and blinking. It's so impressive. Plus, plus, there's this cable that came out of this box, and it, and it ran into the console. This is the audio console. Remember? You know? So it looks like it's hooked in really tight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It looks like it's a piece of... Then you know more about it than yeah, yeah. Were you there? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And this, this thing was absolutely... It wasn't inside the console. You look at the other end of the cable. It was a knot. Tight. It wasn't hooked into it. Yeah, yeah. But it was all psychological because you get with a producer that just didn't quite have it together. You say, well, look, you want kind of a, a Motown sound? See the dial there? I turn it to Motown. And he goes, and I said, do you hear that? And he goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you want a New York sound? I'll give a New York sound here and turn some lights on. And blink, you know, thing is blinking away. And he says, now listen to that. And he goes, oh, yeah. But I think I like the Motown song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And all I did was yeah. turn it on. Nothing yeah. else was going on. Yeah. You know, it's just amazing how you know the mind tells you. you yeah. know, and if you give them the the body motion, like you're really doing something, they're like, "Whoa!" If you just did it real, eh, it just ends yeah. up being, you know. In so. Philadelphia, the city of Philadelphia, they've got a big knob. They call it the electronic scrotum. <laughs> so yeah, apparently, if you want more balls, you know, you turn it. <laughs> and it's hooked up to nothing. You know, oh, you want more? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, it's just, you know, it's really funny. Yeah, it's it funny. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's yeah. one of the tricks we used to use. Yeah. You know, to, uh, you're, like you said, you're protecting the guy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you got his best interest. Even though he doesn't know yeah. it, you have his best interest at yeah. heart. What are we doing on time? Oh, not even five minutes. We're back. We've got our squeeze stories and squeeze program working again, so we can do ten minutes. Sarah, I'm just getting tired, Jess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you stop and start? Right I don't know. I've never read the manual. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> what does this button do? <laughs>
<laughs> I'm sure there's got to be a way to pause it, but I know if you stop it, then it's the next time you turn it on, it's going to be a new movie when, oh. you, when you load it into the computer. Tough luck to have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you want to do a lower shot, you can bring your arms yeah, you bring your arms. If you, if you want to take a quick little break, you can wave your arms around. Right <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Did you feel that? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh. I'm trying to catch up on things. John Lester has always on the forum asked me to you to talk about doing foot stomps with Brian. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. We, this is at Motown. At a, at a, a, the, the yeah. original Motown yeah. studio. Yeah. 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 Um, there, I, John Lester, this is for you again. Okay, John. Uh, Brian Helen yes. grabbed me and says, hey, what are you doing? I says, uh, nothing. <laughs> what, were you in the control room? No, I met up in the lobby. Oh, you were in the lobby. I, I just happened to be going through there, and he came through. He says, well, come on in the studio. I want you to do something. He says, you want to add foot stops to this one song. And what that is, they took a piece of plywood, oh, maybe four by four, you right. know, and laid it on the, the floor of the studio. Right. And then we just took a mic and, you know, about yeah. two, yeah. three feet away. And then they put their headphones on and he stomped their feet. Right. Like, like instead of hand claps, right. it's foot stomps. Right. So we did it to the song and then he said, um, he says, I want you to mix it for me. Just go ahead and mix it now. Yeah. And it was, uh, uh, what song was that? Jimmy Mac? Jimmy Mac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. 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 So it was just that quick, you know? So, so that's your feet on there, huh? that, No, that's not my feet. That's Brian's feet. Oh, oh you feet. recorded, I recorded them. them. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought that he yeah. was, yeah, I, I think that was John's question. He wasn't sure yeah. if you had done the. Because then you yeah. said, didn't you, they, well, of course, they'd pull anybody in at that time, that, you know, if they needed something. They needed something, yeah. yeah I just yeah. happened to be there, so Brian, yeah. but then he wanted me to mix it regardless, yeah. you know. But, uh, you know, we put that thing there, just one take. <laughs> you know, what are you going to do? Oh, i got to pick up the second chorus. I <laughs> yeah, you know, right. stomped wrong or something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Too much treble. Work on the left yeah. arm. Well, yeah. I get all these questions that I should write, answer, you know, I should write down and I don't. Trying to think if I'm forgetting anything. Well, so still got four minutes. You know. <laughs> so we had to get the squeeze back. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been done by now. <laughs> How's your arm, Frank? Like? Great. <laughs> Great. Great. <laughs> it's kind of like, that's just got a wedge <laughs> into your body. It's like a suspension bridge. You couldn't have more. Uh, okay, so we're talking about what, engineering. Is that what we're talking yeah, about? Whatever you want to talk about. I'm trying to put it on me now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the pressure. Oh, the pressure. Is on. There was another. There was another engineering trick. I thought. Let's see. There was, uh, you know, your move. Yeah. There was that. Oh no, I guess we got them all. We covered yeah. them all. Yeah. Yeah. I can. You know, it's, they're called the bullshit moves. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and uh, but it was very effective. <laughs> yeah, it was effective. Yeah. yeah. Plus, it saved some songs. Oh, you know? tell me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, even some of your better producers have no business in the yeah. mixing room. Yeah. You know, and that's a fact. I mean, other yeah. people like Frank Wilson knew what he wanted. Norman knew what he wanted. Yeah. But there are some that you know. Yeah, I just got. I'm aware in Detroit, you know. And yeah. And I was doing all that mixing, they just got these out here, mix this, mix this, you know, yeah. and by myself, which yeah. I can remember. I like it a lot. You know? Harry Balk had a meeting with all the producers. Apparently, they were chewing up a lot of mixing time, uh -huh. not making up their minds. Uh -huh. you know? uh -huh. <coughs> so we came up with this concept. Well, we you know we altered it, but Harry's first concept was to get one mix, <laughs> and that's it. And then it goes to the, to the engineer. You know? uh -huh. So here are all these producers. The you know, director's cut. Bobby yeah. Taylor. You know, right? <laughs> so Harry's talking about. He saw. He says, "So your first mix." And before he can get, it, oh no, he'd already told it. Uh -huh. and I, there was this one sort of—I don't remember his name. He was a writer. He's kind of a meek-looking guy. I don't remember. Could be a lot of people. But anyway, so he was wanted to make it clear, you know, uh -huh. that they just had a one mix shot, you know. Uh -huh. And so he questions Harry, and he says, he gets this far. He says, "So your first mix," and Bobby Taylor <laughs> says, "It goes, it's just that." <laughs> 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 but it was true, you know, because yeah. they, they would get in there and they'd mix and they mix and they mix. There was even something on the four Mike McLean's thread that about um, he discovered that you can't use spliced tape uh, for it, it doesn't mix well or something like There was a whole thing that he he uh -huh. built this gizmo to test it and he says if he would have just tried it, you know, instead of, you know, Mike, he gets off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he goes sometimes. <laughs> so. Where are we? Oh, we're at nine and, and three quarters. I think this is it. Yeah. Jesse, thank you so much. Thank we'll you. talk to you guys. Take care.